All right, so picture this, a website where every element aligned perfectly, margins are uniform and typography flows naturally. That's the magic of consistency and it screams professionalism. With Divi 5, you can achieve this consistency and professionalism by using design variables. You can set up design variable once and reuse them everywhere on your website. Change one value and boom, your entire site updates. No more digging through CSS or wrestling with child themes. It's like having your own design framework right inside Divi Visual Builder, which is going to save you a lot of time and keeping your page lean. And that's what we are going to cover in this video. We are going to explore how Divi 5's design variables can help you build a design system that's consistent, scalable and easy to manage across your site. So if that sounds interesting, then let's dive in. My name is Ankit and you're watching Elegant Themes YouTube channel, the makers of the Divi Visual Builder. Just a heads up, Divi 5 is perfect for new sites, but hold off converting existing one for now. And if you want to deep dive in this topic and learn more about it, we have created a complete blog post that we are going to link in the video description below. So once you are done with this video, head over to the video description and check out our complete blog post. I'm sure you will find it helpful. Alright, so let's roll up our sleeves and let's see how we can build this design system step by step with Divi 5's design variables. So here we are inside our Divi 5 Visual Builder and let's go ahead and start by creating our number variables. And for that, we need to go to our variable manager here. Let's go ahead and click on this. And here we can see all the global variables that we can define. Now, in order to create our sizing and spacing system, we need to focus on number variables. So let's click on this. Now, let me just bring it a little bit closer so that we can have a clear look. All right, so here you can see we have defined various number variables here. And in order to create our spacing and sizing system, we are going to use all these number variables. Now we are going to use REM for this, but if in case you want, you can go ahead and use pixels or even you can use the advanced units like clamp function to make a responsive design. Now if you want to copy all these values to your website design, you will find all these values on our blog post. And if in case you want to add more, you can simply click on add global number here, give it a name and a value. And once we have defined all these number variables, we can simply click on save and apply changes. And let's close this variable manager. Now you might have not realized it, but Divi already has some default margin and padding assigned to various modules on the page. What are these values? You can check out that on our blog post right here. So you can simply go ahead and use the default Divi design system, or we can go ahead and create a new one right now using our design variables. So first, let's go ahead and assign our design variables to various modules on our page. So first, let's start with this section. Now, by default, Divi assigned some spacing or padding from top and bottom to all these sections, which is the part of Divi's default design system. In order to override that and use our own variables to create a new design system, we need to go to design and then click on spacing. And here for the padding, let's first make it zero. So if I type in zero, we can see we have padding top and bottom assigned as zero. And this is how it looks. We have no space on top and bottom now. So let me just undo this. Now, in order to create our design system, we need to override the default values here for sections. So what we need to do here is click on default preset and then edit that and then go to design and here if we set the padding as zero for top and bottom all the sections on our page will now have zero padding from top and bottom which is actually overriding the dv's default sizing and spacing system and now in order to make our own design system we can go ahead and use our design variables so we go ahead and click on insert dynamic content here and we are going to use this number variable that is 4.5 rem for assigning padding from top and bottom. And as soon as we click on that, you notice that there is a space on top and bottom for all these sections. And if we save our preset, this will be the new default for the section padding. So we have just overridden the DV's default spacing for sections. Now next goes our modules. Like this one, we have a heading here. And if we again go to design, 
and then spacing. We can set the margin as zero. So now you can see we have no spacing below this heading. And same goes for all the other modules. In Divi's default design and spacing system, we have a bottom margin assigned for all the modules. In order to override that, we again need to edit the default preset. Let's go ahead and do that. For this title, let's click on this. And here we will edit the default preset for this heading. We go to this edit icon here. We go to design. And for margin bottom, let's make it zero. But we don't want zero. We will use our dynamic content icon here. And we are going to use our design variable like 1.5 REM. Let's click on this. And now we have 1.5 REM defined as default for our heading module. Let's click on save preset. Now we have just done this for desktop only. If you want to do the same for mobile or tablet, we can simply switch the view here and assign new values. So again, we can simply choose this dynamic content icon and maybe we can choose one REM from here. Like this. So this is how it's going to look. Let's come back here on desktop again. And same we can do for paragraph as well as all the other modules. We can use our global variables, the number variables that we have created and override the default preset of every module, section or column in order to create our new design and spacing system. The most conventional way to define all these number variables and create a new design system is to use the 8 pointer scaling system where we assign values in multiple of 8. So this 8 point system is designer's best friend. Think values like 8, 16 and 24 pixel and the value goes up. Why you may ask? It's because it keeps your design layout rhythmic and predictable across devices. Whether it's padding inside a section or margins between modules, sticking to multiples of 8 makes decisions faster and your design cleaner. And there you have it, your very own sizing and spacing system with Divi 5. It's all about designing smart variables and letting Divi's tool streamline your workflow. So why not give it a spin? Download DB5 Public Alpha today and start playing with design variables for your next project. And for more videos like this, make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever we upload our next video. That's it for this one and I'll catch you in the next video.